We do not come to this universe to suffer. Sorry, that was my phone. It rang and I had to hang up the video. And Anyways, we did not come to this universe to suffer. I know that for sure. But you know, I should be so proud of myself for everything that I've done and accomplished and how far I've come. But yet it's so easy for, for me. And I know that other people with chronic illness can relate to themselves. We beat ourselves up for not being perfect. For not having it all figured out. For not, you know, the gap between what we want, the vision that we have for ourselves, right? And where we are is still too big. And it causes a lot of internal suffering. It causes pain. It causes it causes our hearts, you know, to feel hopeless. And this virus has taught me that I need to sit still. I've done a lot of meditating. I am now working on doing 100 days in a row or 90 days. I usually like to do at least a 90 day protocol for everything of meditating in silence for an hour every single day, journaling every single day. Um, and letting my feelings out, listening to my inner heart, loving that part of me that feels angry, loving that part of me that feels betrayed, loving that part of me that is scared, loving me, the loving me, loving that part of me that doesn't know what to do, loving that part of me that feels helpless and hopeless and ashamed and guilty and angry and sad and hopeless and helpless loving all the parts of me the scared parts the parts that don't know the parts that are angry with myself for not knowing enough yet at this stage six years later for loving the parts all of the parts and sometimes you know, that's all we can do is know that we are good enough. Trust ourselves. Trust our own voice. Turn everybody else's voice off. Stop reading. Stop researching. Stop listening to the podcast. Listen to our internal voice that just wants us to hear it. It wants to be loved. It wants you to say, I hear you. I love you. I hear all those parts that feel like they're not good enough. I hear all those parts that think that you don't know enough, that there's not enough time in the day, that you'll never be good enough, that you'll never know enough, that you'll never be able to do this, that you will never, ever, ever be able to heal yourself. I want to love that little child. It's that little child's voice inside you. You know, that's what fear says. And your heart, your soul says you are good enough. You can do this. You do know. You do know enough. You can trust your voice. You can trust your intuition. You have researched enough. You do know enough. You have practiced enough. You have tested enough. You have tried enough. This isn't your fault. You're loved. You're going to be okay. You're going to figure this out. You know, just to... Be there with that little voice, to love it, to hear it, and to not silence it, to not distract yourself with other things, to not get going on your to-do list, to not push it down and try to do more, be more, to just sit with it and hear it and say, I love you, I hear you, I love you, I believe in you, you're loved. No matter what happens, no matter whether you heal yourself or you don't heal yourself, I love you. I will never give up on you. I will never leave you. You know, it's that voice. And so I urge you, if you are having a setback, if you are feeling frustrated, overwhelmed, like you don't know where to turn, you don't know what to do, even your best laid plans sort of 
fall apart, to just sit in that stuckness, in that chaos, in that helplessness, in that hopelessness, in that place, in that darkness, in that fear, and love yourself. Meditate. Try this. Try meditating one hour a day, turning everything else off external and just listening to yourself. Surrendering to yourself, to that part of you that needs to be seen and loved and see what happens. It has helped me. It's been humbling, but it has helped me. And so I hope this has helped you. And you're going to get through this. Trust yourself.